another Throwback Thursday. And this time we're going to go up to Palmetto State, South Carolina Education Lottery, where it's probably be on uh, the side next to Florida. The most I have ever, most tickets that I play next to Florida was the South Carolina Education Lottery. My mom and dad used to live over there from 2008 to 2016, and I would go up there about twice a year. So you see my channel, I have a lot of videos, and if uh, you click in South Carolina Education Lottery, you're going to see a large amount of videos from the Palmetto State. And so we're doing a little Vintage Thursday background, I mean, Throwback Thursday. We have a few of these tickets here from South Carolina. South Carolina is not really, they don't improve their lotteries. They keep them pretty much has been the same for about a decade now. There are no games higher than $10. $10 is the highest uh, prize denominator of uh, any game. A lot of states surpass that $20 or so on. One thing I like about South Carolina, you will never win a free ticket. There's no free tickets over there, which is good. All right, so look at up some of the old vintage games that we have here. And this is called Nifty 50. I used to like the $1 games over there. Nifty 50. Get a 50. I guess they were uh, loaded with $50. There's a couple of them right there. Nifty 50s. Anybody in the Palmetto State remember that? Scratch some cash. Went up to $20,000 on a $2 ticket. You see the codes? They all come out. Do, do, do. See them? Yeah, Florida has stopped doing that. Florida was done with it. Let's see. Match the numbers to win. Money bag win. The prize shown. All win all 10 prizes. South Carolina. Scratch some cash. There's another ticket. I have a large amount of South Carolina, so this is not going to be the only episode we're going to do, just like Georgia. I have a lot of Georgia as well. Instant payday. Match the numbers of win, a coin win the prize, five X's five times. And T H Y. I just saw somebody on the Hall of Fame lotto. They won a crap load of money. I'm trying to remember how much they won. But I think they got twenty times I think it was two hundred thousand dollars. And the code T H Y came out for the South Carolina Lottery. So pretty much it was just like Florida when Florida used to have the codes. Usually you see these codes on all losing tickets and tickets that you have to file a claim. So the THYs does show up on a big jackpot in South Carolina, according to what I saw on the Facebook page. Ho, 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 lot of cash. Florida used to have this ticket as well. This is South Carolina edition. I think these are like one of the last ones I played. Match the numbers to win. A present wins a prize automatically. A star won all 10 prizes. So... Of course, crossword. This is where I get a little bit teary-eyed. Uh, my dad used to play a lot of uh, uh, crossword games in South Carolina uh, before he passed away. And uh, I used to enjoy watching him uh, scratch him, getting frustrated and saying that the, the whole system is a setup when he loses. Uh, you know, and he speaks it in Spanish. He speaks it in Spanish. So he doesn't know what he's scratching off, but he knows the object of the game. And I just remember scratching and scratching. Like he would buy like five of them and he'll lose all five or get back $3 only. He would bitch about that. So brings back memory of my dad. Believe me. <laughs> Here's another version, the Wild Cherry Crossword Tripler. And the code here was... Uh, da, 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 da. Yep. So they have some cool games there. Bingo. I remember buying these tickets. Bingo Mania, South Carolina Education Lottery. With a bonus box. I'll tell you something about South Car uh, Props to South Carolina. Heads up for the lottery over there. When I bought the tickets over there, I would scratch them in Florida. When I send them right away back, when I signed the back and sent the winning tickets over there, in about a week, I got a check. They didn't waste any time. So good shout out for them. They're really up, up to date, very on, to on top of things. Here's another crossword game from South Carolina. This is called Bonus Bonus Crossword. Bonus, bonus, crossword. Odds over here, just like it says, it's 1 in 3.86, including break-even prices. That's a $3 ticket. $5, the money game. Match the numbers to win. Get a coin symbol win automatically. Get a stack of bill win all 15 prizes. There you go. 
And the odds of this game was uh, 1 in 3.67. Odds of not winning is 1 in 1.37. So they actually throw odds at you on what chances you have about of losing as well. That's kind of neat. Now, this is an infamous game in the state of South Carolina, just like in Georgia and just like in Tennessee. The the series editions of the Giant Bucks, Jumbo Bucks, uh, they don't stop. They've been around for a very long time, and they're still there if you go over there now. And, of course, the bonus box, the star. Remember, I have a whole bunch of these. This one, the odds on a $3, a $5 ticket is 1 in 3.66. Odds of losing is 1 in 1.38. Odds of getting the top prize is one in six hundred thousand. I like that. I do like that they put those odds in the back of the ticket instead of trying to randomly search for them in the inter in the internet. So, big shout out to South Carolina. I really like their their tickets. I really do. Like I said, they haven't really um, produced anything higher than ten dollars, which I, I I believe that's fine. I've seen people get decent wins on ten dollar tickets. Storm Fury 777 is one of them. Carolina Jackpot, another one. So I've I've seen I've seen it. And here's another one. This is buy some cash. I think these are one of the last ones I bought. Maybe in 2015. The odds are one in 3.55 overall for five dollar tickets. These are very good odds. And this is another traditional ticket that they have. They're called Carolina Riches. Match the numbers of win. Get the birthday cake with $50 instantly. And that's in the bonus box. 1 in 3.26. That's a, I mean, these are crazy good odds. Crazy good odds. There's another one. Carolina Riches. Carolina Riches. Road to Riches. Match the numbers of win. Get a money bag with all 15 prizes. I, don't want to, I mean, they're all under four, which is amazing. Wow. Now we get to the big boys, the $10 Carolina Green. They had the Carolina Red, a Carolina This, and a Carolina That. So they had quite a few. The Carolina Green was one of the last ones. Get the coin. Yeah, I've, I've never had too much success on the $10 tickets, but I did win a couple of $500 prizes when I was up there. One in 3.08. I mean, you can't make this up. These are outstanding odds. They're not there. So, so we got great odds in the state of South Carolina to win, okay? Great odds. We also have great lottery. They're very organized. They just laid back. They don't want to increase, um, put more tickets. It's you know they, they don't sell that many tickets as you would find in Georgia or New York. Classic cash ten dollars. Match the numbers of win. Same deal here. There you go. T H Y. Odds of one in three point eleven. Odds of winning top prize one in six hundred ninety six thousand. And last but not least, we have the double payday from the South Carolina. Believe me, I have so many South Carolina tickets. This is not the only episode you're going to see. And the odds on this one is 1 in 3.09. These are amazing odds. So these are the South Carolina tickets for this Throwback Thursday. Um, I'm going to do a Florida edition, another Florida edition next week. And then I'll see what other states we're going to do after that. So a big shout out to the South Carolina Education Lottery. Uh, pretty much, I think, one of the decent uh, lotteries there are out there. Uh, they are very, very, very on point. You buy tickets in South Carolina and you scratch them, let's say, in New York, and you mail them out. Within a week, they will definitely send you your check. Not only that, I recall the one time, I, I guess I forgot to put the address, the house number on the ticket. But I did put the phone number, and they actually called me from South Carolina. And they asked me, what was your house address? Because I didn't write it down on the back of the ticket. So they are so freaking amazing out there. Like I said, they don't venture into the $20, $30 game. They'll stick with the 10 as the maximum. And they don't have an abundance of game all out at once. If you go to the gas stations out there, they'll probably have 12, 15 bins the most. They're very low-key. And like if you go to freaking Georgia, they have gas stations that they have a back room. And you can play like 99 different Vindum, uh, boxes of tickets. They got Keno and everything. So this one is like a, more like a laid-back lottery. But they don't have no free tickets. So big shout-out for that, uh, for them. Stupid free ticket prices. I don't understand why they do that. And uh, 
it is what it is. But a big shout out to them. I'm thinking about playing them when I go to Georgia next uh, next month. God's willing. Just jumping over to the uh, to the border, buying a bunch of South Carolina tickets, and uh, you know. So that's what's going on. Hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share. Another vintage throwback Thursday will be next week. We'll be back in Florida later.